Uh, take one. Okay, would you tell me um, what was the highlight of your solo show? Wow, the highlight of my solo show was seeing the amount of people that showed up for it and um, being able to discuss the artwork um, from people that were legitimately inquisitive about where it came from, um, what it meant, the materials I used, um, just to be able to talk in depth about the artwork um, instead of just someone saying, hey, I like your piece or whatever. It, people were legitimately interested in um, how and why it was created. Um, Chuck, tell me, what did you learn from your Monarch Society evening? I learned how to talk about the artwork. Um, it was an intimate gathering, um, and it was a gathering of people who know art and appreciate art, and it gave me an opportunity to kind of study a little bit more about what I'm about and to try to relate that to people who understand art. Um, Chuck, how do you believe John Palmer is changing the art world? I think John's changing it by, well, for a couple of reasons, really. Um, not only with his art and um, how and why he creates the artwork, but also challenging others to do the same thing. Um, explore their reasons for art, explore their creativity, explore uh, the materials that they use, and that any of it and all of it is okay. There's no um, rules. There's no reason to struggle with it. There's only reasons to create, and he's he's pushing that envelope. Um, why should artists apply and take advantage of this program? That one's easy. Um, if you've got that itch inside to create and be an artist, um, and it keeps coming back, and I, I want to say haunting, but it just keeps coming back to you over and over, year after year, this is the opportunity to take advantage of it. It's your opportunity to, um, I think I do want to start that one over. When you start that one over, mm -hmm. would you rephrase the question and say, artists should apply and take advantage of this program because... Okay. Artists should apply and take advantage of this program because it's not only a rare opportunity, but you're gonna learn a lot about who you are as an artist. You're gonna learn a lot of tools to take with you, and you're gonna learn what it takes to make it in the art world. It's an opportunity for you to get, to get moving with that passion that's been instilling inside of you for years and years and years, and it's finally that opportunity to uh, step off and make a go at it. Um, Chuck, do me a favor, and if you would answer again the question, what did you learn from your Monarch Society evening, and kind of rephrase the question again and say, during Monarch, my Monarch Society evening, I learned. Okay. During my evening with the Monarch Society members, um, it, it was a great intimate gathering. Um, and it was a gathering of people who know and appreciate art, and they know and appreciate art um, as it pertains to people who are kind of just getting started in the business. So they were very inquisitive about uh, how and why um, you do what you do. Um, so it was an opportunity for me, and this is what I liked about it the most, to kind of look inside myself and to prepare those questions and to be able to talk about why I create certain things and where my head's at when I do it and why I use the materials that I use. Okay, so again with this one, if you'll kind of rephrase the question when you answer, um, what's the best business lesson you've learned this year? The best business lesson I learned this year is, um, is that it's not just about the creation of the art. It's about networking. It's about relationship building. It's about um, doing the things outside of the studio that you may not necessarily want to do, but if you want to succeed and build your business as an artist, there are things that you have to do. Um, there's a lot of different ways to do it, but here 
in this mentorship program, you're shown a way that has been a proven method for success. All righty. Thank you.